breast cancer breakthrough, AI predicts a third of cases prior to diagnosis in a mammography study. And this was, I think, a Scandinavian country. They essentially put all this historical data through this AI model, and they were able to say, all right, AI model, here's the image, what do you think? And essentially, it came back at a third of the cases prior, it was able to give it a risk score of a 10 which is yes, and it, it's based on factors that are known. I think the reason this story jumped out to me is it's a story of promise. We will get to some more of this predictive medicine based on historical data that it may present some false positives, but rather have a, a certain percentage of false positives and get that early detection of breast cancer. Yeah, absolutely. This one was near and dear to my heart because I've been a breast cancer survivor. It was really cool to see. And I think that not only was it one third of the cases, but they were able to isolate it two years prior to the diagnosis, which talk about Amazing. having early intervention. I thought that was so cool and amazing. I know Penn Medicine, been a client on and off of mine for 20 plus years. They're doing a lot of this work and it, it's really cool. And it's encouraging to think that you could look at the calcification of a breast or the way that a breast appears and looks on imaging and make some predictions and really categorize it. Like you said, 10 being the most likely, but even that middle category, you would watch those patients very differently than you would someone that didn't come up as a risk. So I get really excited when I see that we're using this for predictive diagnoses, because talk about getting ahead of the game. <laughs>